Hello and welcome to iview for you Today I'm going to be showing you how to view your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch on your computer screen and also how to view your computer screen on one of those same devices or you could use your device as an extra screen for your computer so I'm going to be showing all three of those I'm going to um, show you the programs and apps you need and also I'm going to be giving you the download links in the description so first I'll show you how to mirror your computer onto your device um, so the first thing you you need is this app that I have up, pulled up on my computer um, it's called Air Display and you can get it in the App Store currently for $9.99 and it's compatible with the, the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad and it requires an iOS of 4.3 or later and it's optimized for iPhone 5 so it will work on there um, so this right here is just showing you it's the app um, it's this is using an extra screen. This is an extra screen from the actual computer. Um, it's showing you could, on the side over here, it's showing that you could touch and it'll write on the computer. And I'll show examples of all this in a little bit. And so that's the first thing you need. So let me pull it up on my iPad real quick okay so this is the app right here so once it opens up it'll this is the first uh, the first menu it'll show you and it tells you to open Safari and go, or any web browser, and go to this website to download the program onto your computer. So I'll show you that in a second. But I'm, I'm going to go through these menus first. So that's the first menu. The second menu is telling you how to connect it. Basically saying to launch the app and it'll connect through Wi-Fi or you can create your own 80 Hawk network and connect them that way. And it shows you the little icon in the top. Um, that it should that should show up if you're using a Mac and um, it tells you if if uh, the airplay or air display icon does not appear then go to the system preferences and you'll find it there and then you could set it up um, and then down here it's telling you if it's not working another way to connect which is using IP address and then so that's that that menu is kind of like a little help and then they also have a video just showing a few things or a few ways to use it as a mouse for your computer and there's another video for a few keyboard things and then this question mark it just tells you um, support and then also in this top corner you could hit um, I have it for Mac you could hit this for it'll tell you PC so if you go back to the first menu um, it'll tell you down here Windows XP warns that this software has not been Windows logo tested um, but you can it, you can go ahead and continue it still works just fine and then this tells you this is the second menu it tells you um, a little troubleshooting thing for Windows so that's basically it inside the app and this is what will show up if you try to open it without it being on on your computer which currently it is off on my computer because I wanted to show you that. So let me pull this back out. And so the website to download it from is right here, avatron.com. And once again, I'll have the link up in the description. Um, so it says, ever wish you had an extra monitor for your Mac or PC? There's an app for that. So this this download for your computer is free. It's just the app 
to put onto your device, it's nine ninety nine. Um, so this tells you touch your desktop, no wires needed, any orientation. So you could do Mac to your device, Windows to your device, and that includes Android as well. And you could also do Mac to Mac, Windows to Mac, Windows to Windows. So pretty much any variety that you could think of really. So it's pretty useful. And so after you have it installed, the little icon I showed you earlier on the app, it's right up here in my toolbar. It's this one with the dots. And it looks like that right now because it's not on. So you just click on it and click turn air display on. So now it should be on. And so it's going to flash blue along with my iPad is flashing right now. Okay, it's working now. Sorry about that. I was just having some issues and I just had to reset it, but it's fine. So here's my iPad, the same exact screen as the computer over here. So this is mirroring again. So you can basically use your iPad as a mouse. So if I scroll or if I go back to the first tab I showed you, It'll open that up in my computer. Okay, I just found out um, it's it was giving me problems because it was moving and when the screen orientation changes it has to reset and reload so I locked the screen orientation so I wouldn't do that anymore. So hopefully I'll be fine now. But um, so as I was saying, you can use it as a mouse, you know, to drag along whatever highlight this and then it's highlighted on my computer you can also type so if you go into Google up here and then pull up the keyboard which is this icon down here pull it up and type why 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 then it'll show up over here on the the Google search. So that's basically the whole mirroring thing. You could, as you can see, you could pretty much do whatever you might need to do. So now I'll show you how to change it to an alternate screen. Or not alternate, but an extra screen. Um, so back in the icon in the top, Hold on a second. All right, there we go. I'm focus. Okay. So you click on this, go down to Open Displays Preferences. This is also in your um, System Preferences. If you click on Air Display, um, go to Arrangement, and then down here in the corner where it says mirror displays uncheck that and now this is your um, this is your computer screen the little one with the white bar and this big one is your devices screen in my case an iPad so it's to the left right now which means if I drag my mouse all the way to the left past my screen it'll show up on my iPad on an alternate window so let me I'm going to put it below because that's where I like to usually have it so I just have to drag this and put it above the iPad screen and then close this So now, if I drag my mouse down, it'll show up on my iPad. So my mouse is right up here in the corner, or in the top, in case you couldn't see it. So if I move 
my hand's on the trackpad right now, right here. So if I move it around, it'll move the mouse around. I could drag, I could drag this window down onto my iPad right here. So, I mean, you could you could put whatever you want on here if you want to watch a video and and work on if you're writing a review or I don't know whatever you have to do. You could have your video screen playing on on your iPad and be typing on your computer if you want. Um, it, it it could be pretty useful for a lot of things. I know a lot of people have asked me how to do this, so I'm making this video. I don't know if anyone will watch it, but that's all right. Um, so that's basically all of how you do that. So now I'll show you how to get your device onto your computer screen. So the first thing you're going to need is this. It's uh, something you, another thing you install onto your computer called Reflector. And this, you actually have to purchase. There is a free download. I don't know how much it lets you do or what the difference is because I have the purchase ver purchased version. I haven't tried the download, just the free one, so um, I couldn't tell you. But uh, once you click purchase, it'll take you here. And the... You could... The, Single user is twelve ninety nine, and that lets you. It gives you a single license, um, so you could mirror whatever you want onto your computer. And right here it says Mac only, but underneath it says need the wi the Windows version with a question mark. I'm not sure what that does yet, but I'll click on it in a minute. Um, so you could purchase multiple of these if you want. Just choose however many you need and add it to your cart. Or there's a multi-license one that's fifty-five dollars or fifty-four ninety-nine. Um, it gives you five-seat license, and this also says Mac only, but has the Need Windows version underneath. So let's see what happens if you click on that. There might be a Windows. Okay, so there's there's a Windows version. It just takes you to the other page. So if you're on the the Mac side and you need a windows just click on that little thing and same if you're on the windows side and you need a mac version just click on that and it'll take you to the right page and right here it tells you what version mac only or windows only so that's that's all you need is just this reflector app um so after you purchase it or get the free trial and download it then you have to open up the app from your applications window and nothing nothing pops up except just the, the little menus up here reflector device window and help so I'll zoom this camera out again okay so now what you do on your device, I'll show you this on my iPhone because it's smaller and easier to put in the camera. So, what you do is you hit the menu button twice and the little app thing will open up and you slide it to the right and it'll take you to your music and you slide it to the right again. And there's going to be this little icon right here, I don't know if it'll focus on it. Let me try to... Uh doesn't quite look like it's going to focus but it's a little window with an arrow on it and you're going to hit that and whatever your your computer is called mine just has my name and it says macbook pro next to it you click on or you touch that and then you turn mirroring on and then that's my phone showing up on my computer screen